Hi there. So today I just wanted to talk a little bit about numeracy skills. So it should be pretty straightforward. Um, so we just want to evaluate this. Okay. Um, so what that means is we want to simplify it so it gives us a number answer, right? So I just want to remember some stuff. Uh, so we got to do, so we know when we're trying to evaluate, we have to follow bed mass, right? And there's brackets here, but inside the brackets, there's nothing for us to do, right? So then the next thing to do is to multiply. So seven minus negative three still stays the same, but this can be plus, and then two times negative four is negative eight, okay? So now, whether you do this in one step or two, or however you want to do this, it's no problem, but I just want to make sure that we all know that we're subtracting a negative, that's the same as adding, and if we're adding a negative, that's the same as subtracting. So really, that's what we're trying to do. So 7 plus 3 is 10, minus 8 is 2, and that's it. Okay? So now with some fractions, uh, if we're adding, subtracting fractions, we have to remember that we need a common denominator, right? So a common denominator. And uh, we want, here we want the denominator to be 6, because we want the denominator to be a multiple of all the denominators. And I want to remind you that here, there's like a denominator of one, right? Whole numbers have a denominator of one. So I want to make a denominator of six, because a six is a multiple of all these, okay? So if I want to make this a six, it means I have to multiply it by three. So what that means is I have to multiply both the top and the bottom by three, okay? So that gives me nine over six. Here I need to multiply by six, all right? So that means I get 12 over 6, and the last one here, I need to multiply by 2 to get 6 on the bottom, right? So we get minus 4 over 6, okay? So now we get, it's all over 6, and we get 9 plus 12 minus 4, which is 9 plus 12 is 21, minus 4 is 17 over 6. If you want to leave this answer like this, that's fine, or I'm okay with you putting it into a mixed number, which is how many times does 6 go into 17? It goes twice, and the remainder is 5, because 6 times 2 is 12, and there's 5, 6 left over. So you have to understand that this and this are the same thing. They just look a little bit different. Okay. okay, multiplying a whole number by a fraction, or even a fraction by a fraction, the thing we have to remember is, again, this thing has a denominator of 1. And when we multiply fractions, we do numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. So all this becomes is 5 times 5 is negative 25. 1 times 2 is 2, so that's it, right? Or remember, we can write it as 2 into 25 goes 12 times, so negative 12, and that's 24, so the remainder is 1 over 2, right? So 12 and 1 half, okay? Now, I want to point out this is something that a lot of people have trouble with. This negative, this negative just says that this whole thing, the whole fraction is negative, so I can put it out here, okay? All right. And last one, if we're trying to multiply something that's a mixed number, okay, uh, what we have to do is we have to turn it into an improper fraction first. So instead of talking about two-thirds times two and three-quarters, I just want to know how many quarters is that, All right? So I know that two holes is eight quarters, because four times two is eight. So this is eight quarters and three-quarters, 11 quarters. So now all we have to do is multiply the top by the top, bottom by the bottom, and that's it. All right? Now this isn't fully reduced, so we can reduce it to 11 over 6, and then we can say, oh, that's also 1 and 5 6. Okay? So I just wanted to remind you a few things. Now, if you don't remember why any of these things work, like for example, how do you get from here? To here, you need to ask those questions, okay? Because that's something that we should know by now, but if we don't, that's fine, okay? You just got to ask the questions in class and make sure that, uh, that we get there, okay? So that's all.